Running water from the tap makes the difference between the rich and the poor in the world. Of everything the earth has to offer, water is the most prized. It provides a feeling of freedom. On its fertile shores, we build our cities. A view of the water is a source of enjoyment. But water also has a dark side. A sudden flood can destroy a city. From one moment to another, water can obliterate everything. Wipe villages off the map. Take away lives. Engulf our homes. The greatest danger is that we forget this. The last flood in Paris was in 1910, but it could happen again tomorrow. If it did, the Parisian metro network could be completely inundated. To help prepare for such an event, the European Union is funding the Flood Resilient City project. Its purpose, to have eight European cities join hands in ensuring a safer living environment surrounded by water for generations to come. Its method, to allow cities to exchange knowledge and experience, develop disaster plans and cultivate ideas across borders. This is how the idea was developed, to use streets as streams and roads as rivers for the cities of Bradford and Dublin. These cities are confronted with rains that leave basement homes submerged and cause inundation from surrounding hillsides. It was thanks to this idea that Tory and Jane's home escaped the flood this time. The idea was also integrated in the overall flood risk management plan for the Wallera River near Brussels. Another idea, devised in Orléans for the use of safe, gradually sloping quays, was embraced by the city of Nijmegen. In turn, Nijmegen contributed to a plan for a flood-resilient quarter in mines so that Anna and Wolfgang could live and work safely next to the river. The Paris Institute of Technology is conducting research into the damage to the metro system in the event of a flood. The University of Sheffield, with links to other projects, came up with strategies for keeping cities waterproof in the future. The eight European cities of the FRC are united by sharing their ideas. And they are working together on a safe future for European rivers. For her and for him.